What's up guys, Mad Chiller FBV here, bringing you another quick how-to video. This time we're gonna hook up a S-Bus receiver to the ready-made RC Recruit Wing. The Recruit's a great little starter wing. Um, I'm new to wings and my awesome mother knew I wanted a wing and so she got me a Recruit for Christmas. Uh, so I, had, I took a little time trying to figure out how to hook up uh, my receiver, scratched my head a few times, not a ton of info out there, so I thought I'd just share what I came up with and hopefully get you guys up and flying that much faster. Here we go. Okay guys, so we have the um, ready-made RC recruit uh, module bay open here, the uh, electronics bay, and we're looking at the gyro. It is uh, pretty straightforward. There's connectors on here for your throttle, for your ESC, and your two uh, aileron servos. To hook up S-Bus to this guy is really pretty straightforward, but there wasn't a lot of information out there, so I thought I'd just run you through this really quickly. There's two ways to get S-Bus into the, into the gyro. One would be using S-Bus on this servo wire set here. And as you can see, I have Crossfire Nano wired up here. Really straightforward. And I took the shrink wrap off so you could see the actual layout here. But literally what I did was I just lopped off the servo connector on here and wired up my ground, my five volt, and my S-Bus into the Nano. And just so you can see that, you can, um, I'll bring this up here. This is that pin out. So it's really, really straightforward. Nothing major. You just need to go in and make sure you set your output map and your crossfire set up to SBUS and not crossfire. You would also hook up a 5 volt FR Sky uh, receiver to these same wires. Really simple. Option number two is to go over to Spectrum. And if you're using a Spectrum receiver, you would wire it up this way. I've confirmed, I've actually uh, metered this out and confirmed this voltage here. And then the other thing to note is you have this little tiny button right here for binds. And that, once you get it hooked up and you're ready to bind your Spectrum, you will uh, hit that button. It's really straightforward, guys. No major rocket science here. The biggest thing to mention is you will want an AETR output map in your Tyrannus. So I'll cover these two sections real quick here. Okay, so I've got my Tyrannus here, and I just wanted to cover the output mapping section. Um, my radio defaults to a TAER setup. So here you can see TAER is my input map. Um, so all I had to do was go to my mixer section and just move these around so they are, they are in fact AETR. That's what you're going to need to have set up on your radio for your channel mapping for to uh, respond correctly um, with the recruit. Okay, so to come in here and set these up, you'll just go to the channels you in question and you'll hit move you'll be able to bounce these up and down until you get them in the right channel order. Mine are already set up correctly. Basically, if you needed it some if it was needed to be different, you would have you would set that like channel 2 and then be able to take and move this up to channel 1. But as I stated, AETR is the correct map for this. So you want A, A to be first. and aileron to be second, and then throttle, and then rudder. And your last um, output in the mixer should be channel five, and that's gonna be for your gyro mode. Uh, you wanna put that on a three position, so therefore you can have uh, fully stabilized mode, uh, no gyro, and then kind of like an acro stabilized mode that still utilizes the gyro. Now, When you come around to the back, 
with Crossfire, you're going to want to make sure you set to your output map uh, to SBUS. So first thing you want to do is once you have your receiver hooked up, you'll power on your recruit and your RX will receive power. Once Crossfire is up and running, you're going to go into your setup either in the Lua script or on your main module like I have here. Go into the RX Nano and you'll come down to your, you'll go to your output map, sorry. And you're just going to come in here and make sure that output one is set to SBUS. If you want to use smart audio, uh, you would come down to output four and set that to uh, smart audio. Smart audio. And it's that easy. That's all you need to do for Crossfire. So just to demonstrate this working, I don't have the servos hooked up because I couldn't fit the wing on my desk. Um, but uh, as you can see, uh, with that setup, my motor fires when I give it throttle. And I've flown this uh, recruit all, all break, and it's, it's really amazing. It's a great wing to start with. Just thought this video might help you guys uh, get up in the air a little bit faster. Um, took me a couple minutes of head scratching to figure this out, but once I got it, it was really straightforward. Okay, guys, I hope this helped. If you liked the video and you find it helpful, smash that subscribe button. See you next time.